Welcome back to the very first episode of Getting to Know for 2013. What better way to start the season than with my special friend, David Roden. Welcome to the show. Good morning. What did you bring in for show and tell today? Show and tell today, I have brought in a hat from Texas. So uh, this hat here that my parents brought from Texas is uh, about my sister. So my younger sister, she, uh, she got a scholarship when she was 18. So, uh, to Texas Odessa to play college basketball over there. So she's been over there since she's 18 and she's 25 now. And she's still over there playing basketball and doing a bit of coaching. Have so. you gone to visit her? Oh, I haven't yet. Okay. Because they've uh, been pretty yeah, busy last few years with kids and everything. But um, yeah, we plan to go when the kids get a bit older. And so you've got one sister. Who else is in your family? Oh, I've got three sisters. So I've got two older sisters, uh, younger brother and younger sister. So the youngest one. And she's a bit of a pro basketballer. Do you have any basketball skills yourself? Uh, yeah, but I guess when I stopped growing, <laughs> the age of 11, I quickly gave that away and stuck with uh, footy and rugby. But yeah, obviously it's something I enjoy in the playoffs. Uh, I spoke recently, which is pretty good as well. Dear Rod, we've got some questions from our Facebook, Twitter and Excellent. Instagram pages. Let's do it. First up, we have Lauren. Where did you learn to dance and who is your best friend at the club? Learn how to dance. Uh, I guess growing up in Fiji culture, we um, uh, dancing was, a, I guess, a form of a gift. So we, we you know, our grandparents um, spent a lot of money, but we get as a gift, all the grandchildren would get together and perform, and that would be a present to our grandparents. So that, that's how we sort of mix around and dance in the living room and, and muck around. So it's more of a sort of fun thing. Um, and best friend at the club would probably have to be Aaron David, so he's a similar age to me. Um, both got some young children and yeah, probably get along with quite well. Very good. <laughs> and our final question from Kay Dawson84. I haven't got her real name. What makes you laugh the most? Who makes you laugh the most at the club? Oh, there's a couple of guys. Nick Gorney, um, uh, Jimmy Magna. He's very funny, but I guess the funniest I, I see is got a very good sort of personality on Colin Dunn. Yes. He's hilarious. I think he's the funniest bloke. He doesn't get much credit, I guess, around the boys. Um, and a lot of boys get the flack, but I always honestly think he's by far the funniest bloke. Corny backs himself in as the funniest, but Cole yeah, is, the, is the yeah, underdog. We know yeah, that Cole's does. actually the funniest. Yeah, yes. yeah he's very, very particular with his jokes, so I'll get out big fan. Now, d -Rod, I have been doing a bit of research. I've been speaking to Carla, your lovely wife, and she has told me about your childhood. First of all, I'll share with you this photo. Remember this? <laughs> I do. Yeah, this is a photo, I think, first day of kindergarten, I think. Yeah, mum. Oh, mum tells me that anyway. I don't the know too much about it. The froze was definitely going on. That's when mum was in control of my hair. Yes. For the first, I guess, 12 to 14 years of my life. But... And the other funny story that Carla <laughs> um, shared with me, that when you were a toddler, you were um, a bit hesitant to crawl. Your mum and dad thought that you were a bit lazy, in fact, and they were getting a bit nervous. So they took you down to the beach to encourage you to move your legs. They buried you waist deep in the sand. And as the tide came in, as a toddler, this distressed you a little bit. So you kick your little legs to learn how to get out. And that's how you yeah. first learnt to crawl. Do you uh, remember this? I don't remember, but yeah, mum tells me about it all the time. It's a, it's a, it's a Fijian thing that I was, I think I was quite large as a, as a little boy. <laughs> and it took me a little while to walk. So what they do with, with them is yeah, they bury them in the sand, just, just off the shore. And then I guess when the waves come in, it scares, it scares the little kids and they just pump their legs and build their legs, build the strength up in their legs and I think they do it for a few days and then I guess after that they, you know, you have to start walking and you get the strength in your legs. So. And they were close by in case anything went wrong. They were ready yeah, to yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Well, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Carla referred to it as high strength performance training BG style. That's exactly right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Could I say better myself. And she said that's why you've got quite large quads now from all that training. Well, I think it is. I think yes, that's where the strength comes from, so yeah, I'll probably have to thank Mum and Dad, but thanks Mum and Dad for that. <laughs> probably would have been pretty distressed, but thank you. Well, thank you for sharing your stories of your childhood. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know D-Rod, and next week we'll have another person on Getting to Know, so you can tune into Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to ask that person a question. See you next week.